what's up you to be tube i'm back again with another video and today's video as you guys read by the title down below is a updated q a of what's been up with me what i've been up to what i've been doing why i've been going so without anything further to do i'm not even gonna do all that talking we're gonna get right into the video before you proceed make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's get into it say that i have my ipad right here my whole plan was to record off of my camera this little handy dandy guy right here but i cannot find my charger i have this piece to it but i can't find the box piece to it so we gotta work with what we can work with at the moment and it's gonna be the ipad so and i got all of you guys questions off of instagram i made a little poll I'm gonna start off. These are all of the questions. Let me see. Let's see, these are all of the questions that I've had. I'm gonna take my time to go through them. Some of them were the same question, but a lot of them was very interesting. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna answer them thoroughly, as well as um, I'm gonna hit some points that aren't asked in like the questions, as far as like life concerns, life goals, um, what I plan on doing. Um, just like stuff like that or like my mental a lot of people like asked about my mental so um yeah but i'm gonna start in their questions comments concerns um i said get juicy get spicy get nosy like all of that so um some of these aren't questions but it's okay because we're gonna say we're gonna say them all so the first one that i got it says queen I try to be, I try to hold myself up to the highest standards possible. Um, I mean, that's all I can really say. I love to represent myself as a beautiful, black, intelligent, mature, young lady. Because what other way is it to just represent yourself and have others look at you as queen? So I really appreciate that. Love you so much. Somebody said, what made you want to pursue YouTube? Honestly, I've been in the acting, kind of not really acting, but like the acting, modeling, drama type scene for very, very, very. I don't know what he's doing. For a very, very, very long time. I've been a model since the age of four, I think. I've been to like Dallas Expos. I've been to, I've auditioned for like shows and movies. Most of the stuff, I can't remember it like because it was so long ago, but I do have pictures, a lot of stuff like that. So that could be a detailed video for another day like me just going through my throwback pictures and stuff like that but yes i do have pictures um a lot of the times or the few shows that i did audition for i was told that my accent my southern accent was too strong back in the days but obviously now like people are looking for those southern accents it's just that you know when i was a little girl my or my accent probably still is heavy to a lot of people so the shows you know probably didn't want that anyways um next question i didn't even answer that question i'm sorry so with all of that being said i've always liked to be in the camera i'm everybody that knows me literally everybody that knows me know i'm an introvert i'd rather talk to a camera than talk to an audience so this is the like an in-person audience so this is the only way that i feel like i can talk to you guys but not talk to you guys at the same time next question what's your favorite thing to do my favorite thing to do is probably play volleyball, sleep, or eat. Like, just any anything anybody else likes to do, honestly. Um, I really like to do makeup. I wouldn't say I do makeup every day. Um, I actually don't do makeup every day. But I do like doing makeup. That's definitely my hobby. Um, playing volleyball, I feel like that's definitely my passion. And eating and sleeping like that's what you need but it just satisfies you the most so i also like doing that what do you look for in men i don't necessarily look for anything in men 
they definitely have to hold themselves to a certain standard. I don't have any picks and chooses. I don't, I don't discriminate between light skin, dark skin, white. I've actually talked to all. <laughs> like, as long as they really have something going for themselves, that's all that I care about. Like, as long as their personality is good, they have a good head on their shoulders. I don't judge, like, what you got going on, as long as you, you know, safe or, you know, got something planned for your life. My cousin, who I haven't seen in years, said, I miss you. It's been years since I seen y'all. We miss you too. I know it's been so, 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 so long. We love you dearly. And we will see each other soon, hopefully. Hopefully somebody do something for like Thanksgiving, for Christmas, and y'all come down here. Other than that, girl, you know we like this. I got you forever. One of my friends, Alicia, said, nothing, I love you, B. Y'all don't like cursing me, man. But I love you too, honey. I will hopefully see you soon. Um, my friend said, what's your favorite food? I don't technically really have a favorite food, but if I could choose, it would definitely be macaroni. I don't eat macaroni a lot, but that's like literally my favorite. Um, I like pizza, I like chicken nuggets, I like chicken tenders. That's all I really eat, like chicken, chicken, chicken. What I tell my dogs, y'all want some chicken, chicken, chicken? <laughs> Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. I like food in general, but I'm a very picky eater, so I don't eat a lot. So, how's your life mentally? I honestly can say I'm in the middle. I'm not bad and I'm not great. It's just like, I'm kind of going with the motion of life. So, yeah, like I said, it's, like, it's not bad and it's not great. I feel like I could be more satisfied with my life, but at the same time, I'm a teenager trying to figure out, you know, my life path, my plans, my goals. It's, it's not going to come as easy as I think it's going to come. So I think for most teenagers, that's where it's hardest for them because life isn't just handed to you. Wealth isn't just handed to you. Like, I see, I see my family and I see, you know, other people you know making big moves doing great things i'm just like help like what do i do but i know honestly eventually i'm gonna get there somebody said what do you look for in a romantic partner y'all i don't know like i said i don't really discriminate against anybody i don't have any particular uh, i don't know i don't have any particular wants or needs or differences in a guy you just you just have to know how to deal with my attitude. Um, I'm not saying my attitude is bad, but I can get a little snappy at times. Um, you gotta know how to make me laugh. I'm goofy. Anybody could really make me laugh, but laughing is like it's like a love language. You definitely gotta know how to read the vibe of what's going on, like between us. I don't like. A lot of people like clinginess. I don't like that. Until I really, 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 really know I like you, I don't like clinginess. I don't like people calling me, texting me four or five times. Like, I don't, I don't like that. And so we're actually in a relationship and then, you know, that's the kind of stuff like, if we, if we just talk, don't call me four times. Don't text me three times in a row if I'm not texting you back like that. So it's just like, you gotta know the vibe. Somebody said, how's your dating life? I'ma answer the other question first. Somebody said, are you still in the relationship? As far as the relationship, I know exactly what they mean. Long story short, no communication now whatsoever. And it's been like that for months now. Um, so going back to how's your dating life, that's exactly what it is. I'm dating. I'm not in a relationship currently. I am dating. I am talking until somebody cuts me up. Then we're going to have a conversation next time. How is it living on my own? Okay, a lot of you guys don't know that I got an apartment. That's where I am now, in my bedroom. Um, I plan on doing an apartment tour, but I don't know when. I'm still trying to get everything together. Like, I do, my blinds are up, but I don't have my curtain rods and my curtains up. It's just still a lot. I still, I have a guest bedroom. I still don't have that comforter yet. Like, I, I just 
don't have a lot of stuff so i can't do a um apartment vlog and the other thing is as far as this question is how is it living on your own i don't know because i don't live here and that's all i'm gonna say like i really i really don't be here like i pay for this apartment for nothing what are you gonna do with your mini home um my mama changed it into a an office kind of thing it's still it's still like a chill area it still had a tv still had a the one of the um okay so i just really want to tell you guys that i'm so over it because i recorded the second half of this video because something had to you know stop me got my attention so I, you know i'm like you know what let me pause and i'm redoing it tell me what tell me what I started recording the video, I recorded 15 minutes. I almost, I was at the outro, y'all. But someone's like, before you do this outro, look at the video. Just look at it, make sure it look good. Y'all, the camera was looking at the blinds the whole time. It's blind. So, I'm back. I done got myself together. I'ma try this again, but if it don't work out, then we just go. We just go. We just gonna go. So where I started off or finished off at was I've been waiting on a prank video, makeup tutorial on YouTube. Like I was saying, I feel like with the pranks, I either go too far or it's not gonna be far enough. Um, I don't want to ruin even any relationships with the people that I have in my life, or I don't want to ruin any trust got going on here so that's as far as the pranks if y'all give me some really good pranks and i feel like it'll you know bring traction to my channel i would definitely do it as far as makeup tutorials i didn't did a makeup tutorial here and there before but i feel like makeup just doesn't bring to my channel at all the only reason i do makeup is to put out a filler video which is basically just a video to say i put out a video or just to say like hey here's the makeup video or something like that but it really does not draw any attention to my channel i don't get like hella views off of it like it's really no point of me doing makeup videos unless it's for me or for somebody in particular so if you want a video in particular and you want me to do a certain look or try a certain look or do a tutorial on something that i'll do it for you but as far as me just doing a makeup video i won't really do that i'll probably do it every now and then but that's just probably not gonna happen somebody said where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years i'm gonna do five and then i'm gonna do ten in five years i'll be 24 25 years i definitely see myself starting in my career field career field hopefully um may god's will be done whatever god want me to do is what i'm gonna be doing but as far as what i think i'll be doing my major is psychology so i'm gonna either be a psychologist or i'm gonna go down the pre-med route and become a doctor or something along those lines. My overall school experience, I really don't have one. Most of my classes online I have the option to either go in, on campus or go, you know, attend online on Zoom. Attendance isn't graded. College make it feel like it's not an obligation. It kind of backfires on you to make you feel like it's not an obligation. So I really need to get out that habit. Um, but I'm definitely getting out of it. I'm definitely trying to be motivated. I'm not as motivated as I should be, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it. It's just like for the past, what, two years now because of COVID, it's just, it's been hard mentally more than it is physically. So it's, you really got to get yourself back into the grind of things. My opinion on gender equality. I don't really want to get into that on camera. I feel like women and men should be equal because why not? Um, we were both created by the same creator. We are both able to do certain things. But at the same time, I do feel like it's a sensitive topic, so I'm not going to state too much of my opinion on it. First life, I feel like I touched on this already, but I'm gonna briefly sum it up. Life is good, life is okay. It's not you know, bad or anything. Nothing terrible has happened. I'm living life, I'm enjoying it. I'm working, I'm going to school. I'm partying at the same time so life is life i know for sure i went over this how are you mentally i am okay i'm more good than okay but at the same time i'm just saying i'm okay my grandmother said hello hey mama 
somebody said how's your semester going my semester is going and it's not stopping so that's how i'm gonna put it it's not stopping for nobody so it's better to just go with it rather than stop because it's gonna leave you somebody said what's been going on lately in life nothing has really been going on i've just like i said been working i've been going to school um hanging out every now and then that's really just about it how's your social life with your friends y'all i probably got five friends probably a little less than that but five friends definitely on one hand everybody else is technically like acquaintances or we're building that bond to become friends but at the same time i don't really feel like i have many people to confide in and that's what i call a friend so youtube i've had someone from chick-fil-a notice me notice my dad first they were like aren't you that girl who does youtube dad like isn't you her dad and then i'm looking like like yeah that's me and then that's him yeah that, that's him and then she like looked and realized that she was like hey like so it's just i understand that my social life is about to go up at the same time like i said i'm very introverted so i don't know how i'm gonna react to it hopefully i react in a positive way but it's like when people look at me i'm just looking at them like what are you looking at so i gotta get out like i really have to get out of that habit because if my youtube continues to go up and people continue to notice me it's just like i can't have a stank face you're pretty sis big purr. Purr, 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 purr. Period, sis. You are too. Thank you, honey. Um, she also said, how life, how is life treating you? I went over this already. Um, where do you want to be in five years? I also went over that question. What's your favorite thing about Culture Cloud and why? I feel like Culture Cloud is definitely, definitely a big family, and I really like that. So I feel like that would be my favorite thing. And I also really like how Culture Cloud brings out the spontaneous side of me as far as like photo shoots and just hanging out and stuff like that. Um, like I said, once again, I'm very introverted. So I feel as if I'm always in my shell, always in my comfort zone. So I love when I'm able to get out of my comfort zone. And I feel like Culture Cloud really brings it out of me. And I thank you guys for that. So make sure y'all shop Culture Cloud, tap in. Favorite male rapper, favorite female rapper. If you know me, I'm always listening to rap music, but I never listen to one particular male rapper or female rapper. So I don't have a favorite male rapper. Um, I listen to a lot of Gates. I listen to a lot of Young Boy. I listen to a lot of Lil Baby, Dirt, just, you know, a little bit of everything. So I would say my favorite male artist, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider him a rapper like at all. He doesn't rap, but it is The Weeknd. If you bring me to The Weeknd concert, I will marry you. I would propose to you, I would give you flowers, everything. So, but my favorite female rapper of all time, and if you wanna fight about it, if you wanna wanna argue about it, if you wanna catch me outside about it, if you wanna do anything about it, we can just let me know. Because it's Nicki Minaj and can't nobody tell me different. Age, do you feel like you would be ready for kids? Honestly. As of now, I don't feel like I'm ready for kids at all, but I've always wanted kids at a at a decent but young age. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Not young, young, but like, at the same time, I want to have that bond with my kids where I'm not old and raising them. How's college life? Are there boys that you're actually finding interesting? If you know me, and you know, I really, I really don't find people interesting, but I have someone that I find interesting. So I'ma just leave it at that. Is Oasis a good atmosphere or bad? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say Oasis is a bad atmosphere because the atmosphere isn't bad, it's the people who come. What keeps you so influenced into YouTube that makes you want to continue to Okay. Honestly, I've been doing YouTube for four, maybe five years now. I'm just starting to see some results. That's how I'm put it. This year, I've gained my first thousand subscribers. I've gained my first, well, last year, I've gained my first 5,000 and 10,000 views. Um, 50,000, 60,000. So it's just like, once you start from a small 
goal and all your goals are small like stacked up on top of each other once you get that goal you got another small goal and then once you get that goal you keep on climbing up so i never really make huge goals for myself like oh i can't wait till i, I get to 100,000. i'm gonna say oh i'm at 1.5 thousand right now oh i can't wait till i get to 2000. so youtube has always been like an escape for me which is talk but not talk if you feel what i'm saying do you feel you have any interest in starting your own business i actually am a business business owner um i am a makeup artist i have my own business um yes so that's just that on that um yeah i am a makeup artist with my own makeup business i have a makeup studio um, all that good stuff so yeah and the last one is do a college life update i'll definitely do a college life update video in itself maybe even like a little college vlog when i'm on campus and i definitely will do an apartment vlog for you guys once i get everything situated um like i still have a lot of stuff to put in here to decorate um stuff like y'all want to see something pretty cool let's take I really like the blue. I don't know if y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? Oh, the walls and stuff are blue. Yeah, I'm on my phone and it's just been giving me a hard time. So if y'all couldn't see, please, please just don't even worry about it. Without anything further to do, without anything further to say, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I thank you guys for watching this one. I know I've been gone for a really long time, but I'm back and I'm better. And you know that because I always say that, but this time I'm for real. So, I love you, Playhouse Game. We lit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.